no entrar. <gasps> Sigue ahí. What may happen when Homer tries to get the kids on the scary slide of an old water park? Stay tuned to find out as you boost your conversational Spanish skills. ¿Podemos irnos? ¿Podemos irnos? ¿Podemos irnos? ¿Podemos irnos? Ay, ustedes no lo saben, pero este lugar era fantástico. Y el mejor juego de todos será ese de ahí. Piénsenlo, 90% de todas las hospitalizaciones solo por un juego. Me pregunto si aún... No entrar. ¡Oh! Sigue ahí. El diluvio del diablo tenía las filas más largas, las vueltas más horrendas, hasta su propia ambulancia. Hola, mi amor. ¿Me extrañaste? Diluvio del diablo. Anda. Se ve seco. Y peligroso. <risa> Niños, contemplen el diluvio. Este día pondremos temor en sus caras y nos robaremos a la novia de la muerte mientras vivimos por primera vez. Let's break down the lines from the full scene. Watch until the end to find out if Homer and the kids dare to jump. ¿Podemos irnos? ¿Podemos irnos? ¿Podemos irnos? Podemos irnos is a very common expression that Spanish kids and some impatient adults use repeatedly when they want to ask someone to go home. Podemos is a plural conjugated form of the verb poder, which means to be able to or can. So it means we can. Irnos made by ir to go and nos, us, means we leave. Bart and Lisa want to leave as soon as possible, and they are making it very clear. ¿Podemos irnos? Ay, ustedes no lo saben, pero este lugar era fantástico. Ustedes no lo saben means literally you don't know it. Lo is a pronoun used to refer to something that has been previously mentioned or that is understood. Saben comes from the verb saber, which means to know. It's in the third person plural form, so it means they know or you know. You might also hear a similar, very common expression that is Ustedes no tienen idea. In this clip, Homer is using Ustedes no lo saben as a response for the kids asking to leave. He wishes they understood how cool this place used to be. Ay, ustedes no lo saben, pero este lugar era fantástico. Y el mejor juego de todos era ese de ahí. In this context, juego means slide. Homer is referring to his favorite slide in the park. In Spanish, there are many different ways to refer to amusement park rides or attractions, depending on the country. In Mexico or Colombia, for example, you might hear the word atracción or juego mecánico, mechanical game, instead of just juego. Y el mejor juego de todos será ese de ahí. Piénsenlo, 90% de todas las hospitalizaciones solo por un juego. Piénsenlo is an imperative form of the verb pensar, which means to think. This means that Homer is asking or telling the kids to actually think and consider the reasons why that slide is so famous. Piénsenlo, 90% de todas las hospitalizaciones solo por un juego. Me pregunto si aún... Pregunto is the conjugation of the verb preguntar, meaning to ask or wonder, that you'd use when talking about things you are wondering about. Me is the pronoun that indicates who is performing the action. In this clip, Homer is wondering something related to what he was saying before. We'll find out what it was soon. No entrar. Oh, sigue ahí. El diluvio del diablo tenía las filas más largas. El diluvio del diablo is the name of the terrifying slide that Homer is talking about. Diluvio is a noun that means flood or deluge. It's used to describe really, really heavy rain. You could use it as a hyperbole to emphasize when it's raining really hard. ¿Qué diluvio? Diablo is a noun that means devil. In the name of the ride, it's used to emphasize the intensity. Of course, a ride worth this crazy name had the longest lines back in the day. No entrar. Oh, sigue ahí. El diluvio del diablo tenía las filas más largas, las vueltas más horrendas, hasta su propia ambulancia. Horrendas is the feminine plural form of the adjective horrendo, 
He uses the feminine form because he is describing the terrifying turns of the devil's deluge. Las vueltas, a feminine noun. Su propia means his, her, or its own. And it is used to describe a possession or characteristic of something. Qualities, objects, capabilities, or more. In this specific clip, Homer is describing how this light had its own ambulance. <laughs> Beginner learners are sometimes more familiar with the expression de ella or de él when talking about someone else's possessions. But if you watch Spanish videos made for native speakers, you'll realize su propia or su propio is much more common and sounds very natural. But of course, if you're watching a video on Netflix or YouTube and hear a phrase like this for the very first time, it can be tricky to learn how to incorporate it in your vocab, especially because unreliable subtitles are usually more confusing than helpful. But when you watch videos on Fluent You, a handy app for learning Spanish with authentic videos, all the subtitles are written by language experts, so they are always accurate. And they are even interactive, so you can click on them to get in-context definitions and examples of how words are used in other contexts. Fluent no You features thousands of videos, scenes from series, movie clips, inspiring talks, and more for you to learn Spanish with. To make your learning even more effective, Fluent You also features personalized quizzes and speaking questions, so you can work on your vocabulary and pronunciation to sound just like a native. If you want to become fluent, you can click on the description below this video and get a two free week trial. Plus, Fluent You is currently on sale, so this is the best time to start. Extrañaste comes from the verb extrañar. It's a common verb used to express the feeling of missing someone or something. You would ask someone, ¿Me extrañaste? If you haven't seen each other for a while and you have an effective relationship, just like Homer and his beloved and terrifying slide. Hola, mi amor. ¿Me extrañaste? Diluvio del diablo. Anda. Se ve seco. Anda, in this case, is used as an interjection or exclamation to express surprise. Same way as you would use geez, wow, or oh my god. Be careful about context though, because anda can also be the imperative form of the verb andar, meaning to walk. Context is key, but practice makes perfect. If you want to practice and review what we've learned today, we've made you a free PDF of all the vocabulary we're covering. To get it, just click on the link in the description below. Peligroso is an adjective that describes someone or something that can cause harm or pose a threat, like in this case where Lisa is noting how unsafe this light looks. Anda. Se ve seco. Y peligroso. <laughs> Niños, contemplen el diluvio. The word contemplen is a plural imperative form of the verb contemplar, which means to behold, to observe attentively. Homer is telling the kids to take in everything that the devil's deluge is. He is really fond of this slide. Niños, contemplen el diluvio. Este día pondremos temor en sus caras y nos robaremos a la novia de la muerte mientras vivimos por primera vez. Pondremos is the future tense of the verb poner, which means to put. This is the conjugation you use when you and someone else will put something somewhere. In this case, Homer is saying that he and the kids will put terror in people's faces as they are about to do something terrifying. Pondremos terror en sus caras is a way to say that they are going to do something scary that will make everyone who watches feel fear. I think Homer is kind of trying to talk like a parent with this expression. The word forma can mean way, like in the context of our scene. But in other situations, it can also mean form, manner, or shape. Let's see some examples. Me gusta la forma como me miras. Or, estoy pintando la forma humana. 
Homer is pointing out how now the only way to get down from the slide is actually riding it. Exciting! Ahora es la única forma de bajar. Sariguellas are the small furry marsupials that are native to the Americas. Actually, as a fun fact, the word sariguella comes from the indigenous South American language, Quechua. The word comadrejas refers to a family of small carnivorous mammals that are commonly known as weasels. In some countries, though, we also use the word comadreja to describe someone who is sneaky, sly, or untrustworthy. For example, you might say, Ese político es una comadreja. The word viejo is used to express surprise and it can be translated as oh man. It is often used in a friendly or humorous way to show amazement. However, the word viejo can also mean old in Spanish and it can be used to describe people, objects or concepts that have been around for a long time. For example, you could say ese edificio es muy viejo. In some Latin American countries, viejo is also used as a slang expression to refer to a close friend or someone you have a lot of affection for. In this context, it's similar to calling someone dude or buddy in English. So, it's always a good idea to learn some local expressions when you're traveling to a Spanish-speaking country. If you want to keep learning some more native Spanish, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, like learn Spanish with Harry Potter. Orale is an informal expression commonly used in Mexico and other Latin American countries. It's an interjection that conveys surprise. If you visit a Latin American country and strike up conversation with a local, you might hear someone say, Orale, hablas muy bien español. Orale, vi mi vida entera frente a mis ojos. He tenido una vida increíble. The expression he tenido is the conjugation of the verb tener, to have. He tenido is the way in which you say you have had something. The verb tener is very common in Spanish and it is used to express possession. In the present perfect tense, it is used to talk about actions or experiences that started in the past and are still relevant in the present. For example, He tenido un buen profesor. El diluvio del diablo tenía las filas más largas, las vueltas más horrendas, hasta su propia ambulancia. Hola, mi amor. ¿Me extrañaste? Diluvio del diablo. Anda. Se ve seco. Y peligroso. <risa> Niños, contemplen el diluvio. Este día pondremos temor en sus caras y nos robaremos a la novia de la muerte mientras vivimos por primera vez. Ahora es la única forma de bajar. Next Simpsons adventure is to an exotic place with some crazy companions. Let's check out how that goes as we keep breaking down some super useful Spanish vocab, including expressions that you may use in your next Latin American trip. See you there!